Hello YouTube, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Minecraft Let's Build series. Now today what I've got for you guys is episode 2 of a little series I started a while back where I transformed a Minecraft default village house into a kind of modern contemporary house and a lot of you absolutely loved it. So today we're going to be carrying on with that series but we're not going to be doing a house, we're going to be revamping the Minecraft default village church. Now these things have been around for freaking time, like so long kind of pretty much since minecraft villages were put into minecraft i'm pretty sure these things were like some of the first buildings so we're going to be transforming it into a modern kind of uh building today modern house modern little apartment thing depending on how you you know, kind of see it but uh i think it's probably a modern house so we're going to place uh or we're going to choose some quartz blocks uh quartz stairs uh stone brick stairs stone slabs glass panes oak doors and wooden trap doors we're going to quickly Change the weather to clear. I don't know why it always feels the need to rain before like I let, do my let's builds. It's so freaking annoying. But today, we're going to do it in the sun. So, we're going to place a quartz block randomly. Boom. I'm going to do it in line with this one. Just so you can kind of get a kind of uh, like idea of the scale to scale of uh, each kind of building. So, one quartz block there. Place one, two, three, four up the side. And one, two, three, four up the side. Now, you're going to place one quartz there in the center. Turn around and place an oak door just like that. Pretty, pretty simple. So you're going to grab a quartz stair and place it facing you just like that. Perfect. So grab your quartz blocks and place one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. You'll grab your stone brick stairs. You'll place one, two. On the other side, one, two. Place an upside down stair on uh, the back of this stair and the same on this side. Place one more on the top, one more on the top of this side and place one in the center just like that. Now on top, you're going to place a little slab and it should be looking at something like this. Now, you're going to bring the blocks up by one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. In the center of this, you're going to place a quartz stair. And in the middle of this, you're going to place two quartz blocks like that. Not quartz blocks, sorry, glass blocks. I don't know what I'm saying. It's kind of like today I've been so tired. I've just been like saying everything wrong, doing everything wrong. It's just one of those days. So bear with me if I do sound a little bit stupid. In the middle of this, we're going to place a quartz block like that. Boom. So now you've kind of got this shape. It's kind of like a little like bottle, I guess, like a water bottle. So you've got this little thing. You've got the little nib on the top. I don't know why I call it a nib. I'm just going to go with that, though. On the side, we're going to be placing a block there and a block here. Now, we're going to be deleting these in just a second. So place a stair facing towards you, a quartz stair like that. Delete this block and place one, two, like so. Okay. You can see the resemblance. We're kind of recreating this shape. Place one facing towards you. And then, of course, the two next to it. Perfect. We're now going to grab our quartz and we place one, two, three, just like that. Now, on the side of the house, we're going to be placing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you're going to do exactly the same on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in the center, we're going to place one, two, and one, two glass panes. Perfect. Coming along the top, one, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty much every time or every time you do something on this side, you're going to do it on that side because this build's very symmetrical um, as its default Minecraft. Very, very simple kind of things. Um, so, yeah, you kind of get the picture. One, two, three. One, two, three on top of that one. Our next glass window, which is, uh, let's see, one, two tool and one, two tool. And, of course, there's going to be two blocks on the side of that just like that perfect now you're not going to go any higher simply because we're going to be putting a roof kind of over this part in a section um and it doesn't really matter you don't need to put any blocks on top of this okay so place one block here and one block there and bring this along by one two and three okay you're going to repeat this little shape on the back so bring it up one two three and then place a little nib that's what we called it before in the kind of center like so bring this down by one two one two and one two Perfect. Now you're going to leave it just like that for the second being. Okay, place one, two, three, four, like that. And one, two, three, four on that side. And close it off with one, two, three blocks of quartz. Perfect stuff. Bring it up. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And do that the entire way around on all these kind of blocks. Okay. I'm also kind of placing blocks really randomly. It's so stupid. It's really, really annoying me. I don't know why I'm doing it. We're also going to be placing another layer of blocks on top of that like that so this back part should be one two three four five blocks wide and one away from the edge and one block down we're gonna delete that block and place a little window you can do exactly the same on the other side delete that block and place yourself a little window now on the back one block down from the top you're gonna delete that and place an upside down stair you're then actually hmm how do we want to do this 
I'm going to change that up, actually. We're going to remove these two blocks here. Okay, so two from the uh, the bottom. And then on this block at the top, so no blocks away from the top, you're going to place an upside down quartz stair. Fill that in with glass just like that. Grab your quartz blocks, place one, two, three. And then on top of them three blocks, place another one just like so. Perfect. You're now going to place one, two, three, four. And on this side, five and six blocks of quartz to kind of complete the shape there. Now, the build's kind of looking a little bit bold. As you can see, if someone was to wear a wig... Um, and they took it off. This is kind of what they look like. It looks very, very like bold. So we're going to grab um, stone brick stairs. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four. We'll do exactly the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And that is perfect. We're now going to place stone bricks all underneath these ones to complete the kind of zigzaggy shape, triangling up. And you're going to place an upside down one facing you, just like so. Grab stone brick slabs and place one, two, three, four. And that completes the roof for the back of the build. So moving on to the kind of top part and the final kind of part of the like roofing and this kind of build actually, we're going to place one, two. Okay, do exactly the same on this side. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, like that. And then bring it all the way along this side until it's one block over on this side. Okay, so one, two, three, four. In total, you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks of stone bricks going all the way across the roof like that. We'll do exactly the same on this side as well. Boom, boom, boom. Now what you can do is zigzag these kind of up and in the center, place a middle block, okay? Which is kind of what we're gonna do on this side as well. So upside down stairs, upside down stairs, and then of course one facing you upside down in the middle just like that now on the top we're gonna place one two three four five six and seven stone brick slabs like that grab our quartz blocks and we're going to delete this middle block here okay so one away in the middle and one up from the roof we're going to place one two blocks of quartz and on top of that we're going to place an iron trap door and this is going to kind of represent a cute little chimney on the side of the build which does look pretty sick indeed at the side, we're going to go grab ourselves an oak fence gate. We're going to grab ourselves some oak fence uh, itself, birch leaves, and an emerald, okay? Now, we're going to place, let's see, oak fence just next to that. Boom, so you can kind of open it, or oak fence gate as it is. We're going to place one, two, three, and then we're going to bring it round and wrap it to the back of the build. Next to the kind of fence here, we'll place an emerald, and we're going to place two bushes until it reaches just under the window there. We can then go grab ourselves some bone mill, whether that may be. And we're just basically going to fill this little area with that so it doesn't go on the outside. You could place one more here, but it's probably going to, you know, place a few at the back, which we don't need. Boom. So you should have something looking a little bit like that. Now, we are going to do interior for this build. Well, not really interior, but we're going to kind of make it look all pretty on the inside. So, delete all this grass. You don't need it. We're going to grab ourselves some oak wood and some quartz. So, where's the quartz gone? We're going to get rid of all of these. We're going to keep the wooden trapdoors. We're going to use ourselves a spruce uh, kind of... Where's the planks? Spruce planks just there. Grab ourselves a flower pot, a bed, um, a fern. Where's the fern at? Perfect. A ladder. And that should be good for now. So we're going to place a load of oak floor inside. So that's going to be our main flooring is going to be oak. We're going to grab our quartz blocks and we're going to place one, two, three, four. And we're going to fill all of this in just like so. You could also actually go grab yourself an upside down quartz stair and place it just like that. Perfect. We're going to grab ourselves some stone slabs. We're going to place, let's see, um, how are we going to do this? Okay, we're going to place one and two. Okay, like so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen stone slabs like that. We're going to delete these quartz blocks up here because we actually don't need them because of the way the roof works. And we're going to fill it all in with slabs just so the roof kind of flows all the way along. and looks pretty sweet. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to delete the block next to this window here in the roof, of course. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five little ladders like that. And we're going to climb up and see what's going on up here. You can place that with a little stone slab just to kind of cover up that hole. No one really wants it there. It probably is going to look a little bit ugly. Okay, grab your quartz stairs. Place one, two, three, one, two, three. Grab your quartz blocks and fill it in in the roof. So now we've got this kind of little attic area where I'm going to place a bedroom. So I'm going to place a spruce plank just there with a flower pot and a little fern in it, just like that. 
I'm going to place a bed going along this way. You could place it anywhere. You could have a double bed even, but I'm just going to place a single one going this way. And then I'm going to place one, two, three little wooden trapdoors like that. And you can still go under and get downstairs, which is pretty freaking cool. Now, just because I can, I'm going to place two little st uh, stairs there. I'm going to place myself a, where's the oak fence? There we go, oak fence. And a little pressure plate, just on top, like so. And you could also actually just put a crafting bench in there like that. Uh, where's the crafting bench gone? Perfect. Just an idea for what you could do if you were building this place in survival. And that is pretty much it. That is our kind of conversion or my kind of conversion of a Minecraft default church. I think it looks pretty cool. If you were to have this kind of version next to this little house, it would definitely fit. You could have roads in between um, and you can kind of see the theme I'm going. So episode three, put down in the comments, what should I do next? Should I do a blacksmith? Should I do one of these little houses here? Should I do um, a little well? Uh, you put it down in the comments, it's up to you. So if you've watched to this far, you guys get to choose what the next build conversion in this village is. Don't name anything stupid. Don't say like a fire station or anything because they don't actually exist. It has to be something that exists in a Minecraft default village. Anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this video of the Minecraft Let's Build series. Thank you so much for 16,000 subscribers. It means so, so much to me that you guys are supporting the channel, watching the videos and liking the content. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Stay creative. I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.